from NBC4, the Southland's number one late news. The Channel 4 News at 11. Some experts call it the crime of the 21st century. It may be even more profitable than trafficking in drugs. What is it? Selling counterfeits over the Internet. Chanel, Gucci, Tiffany, Versace. High-end designers with high-end price tags to match. Some people don't want to pay the Rodeo Drive prices for designer goods, so they look for discounts on the Internet. Karen Rippenberg did. She found her favorite Seven for All Mankind jeans for 90 bucks, way less than the $150 she's paid before. I had them sent to me, and it, they were fake. They were totally fake. Big-name companies like Seven Jeans, Fendi, Cartier may enlist the help of private investigators like Rob Holmes to track down Internet counterfeiters. We have undercover identities, and we make purchases from uh, these people. And for Holmes, this is a full-time job. This simple web search for replica handbags turned up 16 million sites. And calling merchandise replicas doesn't get the counterfeiters off the hook. They are still unauthorized copies. And this site here, as legitimate as it may look, is a criminal operation. Other sites still try to pass off goods as the real deal. Some of the knockoffs are obvious. Others look absolutely real. Holmes says counterfeiters not only steal trademarks, they circumvent tariffs by sneaking their goods through customs, by shipping a knockoff purse, for instance, inside a pillowcase, or in some cases, disguising it. But when you receive this package, it looks like a generic handbag but it's actually a handbag manufactured around a brand name handbag. The attorney for the company, Seven for All Mankind, says she can't say just how much the counterfeiters cost the company, but she feels the cost to society is astronomical. Counterfeiting is, is the crime of the 21st century. It's the new drugs. And for criminals, it's better than drugs because the penalties are, are so much less dramatic. Every time you buy something fake on the Internet, whether you know it or not, you are breaking the law. Counterfeiters don't pay taxes. They run sweatshops. They often use child labor. And many times they have connections to the underworld. A lot of the, the larger cases, especially the ones that I really can't go into a lot of detail on, uh, seem to be organized criminal elements. If you're not buying from an authorized dealer, there's no guarantee that you're getting genuine merchandise. Rippenberg recovered half her money and now figures the money she lost is comparable to a lesson learned. I'm dragging myself to that boutique and I'm spending the big bucks because the quality, there's just no comparison. Now, if you suspect you have a fake but you're not really sure, take it to a reputable dealer to check it out. Then report it to the police or the government's Internet Crime Complaint Center. You'll find that on our website and, of course, my report on our website as well, NBC4.TV.